up guys? We're here at uh, Trangis San Juan, si Chuno. We're going to Emilio Sito Let's go. Let's go. What's up? I'm back. I'm here in Mira City Shrine. I'm here to talk about it. Hey, Mira City Shrine. 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 Revolutionary society at asta asan agalang galangan na katipunan ng mga anak ng bayan or simply and more popular recalled katipunan. Being a member of its supreme council, he was elected secretary of state for the Haring Bayang Katagalugan, a revolutionary government established during the outbreak of hostilities. He is popularly known in Philippine history, textbooks as the brain of the Katipunan. While some content he should be rightfully recognized as the brain of revolution. Utak ng hibagsigan, a title that is usually given to Apolinario Mabini. Jacinto was present in the so-called cry of Pugadlawin or cry of Balintawak. With address Bonifacio, the Supremo of the of the Katibunan, and the other of its member, which signaled the start of the revolution against the Spanish colonial government in the island. Emilio Asinto Edison was considered as one of greatest military genius during this time. He was very close to address Bonifacio, like Bonifacio Emilio, also comes from poor family. He was born in Troso, Manila on December 15, 1875. His parents were Mariana Sinta and Jose Padison. Despite being orphaned, he managed to send himself to Caleo de San Juan de Letran. He was also able to study at law the University of Santo Tomas, although he was not able to finish it because the Spanish classmate of him accused him. Emilio was only 19 when he joined the Katipunan. He was known as the brain of Katipunan when it comes to military matters. His book entitled Cartilla was the one used by the Katipuneros as the guide in fighting the Spanish colonizers. It contained the constitution and by laws of the Katipunan. Reading books was one of Emilio's greatest passions. One of his favorite books was the one about the French Revolution. He also has in his collection a book on how to make gunpowder and dynamite. He also learned quite a few things about the art of war, military st strategies, and ways of making weapons of war. Of war. I'm back. I'm here to interview some officials and citizens of Marangay San Juan. Let's go. Hello. Ano, 
Ano po ang matapos? Ah, ano pa? Hindi pa siya na ulila. Hindi. Maaga siya. <laughs> Maaga siyang naulila sa ama na si Mariano Sinto. Ipinaampo naman siya sa kanyang ina, si Jose Padison, sa kanyang kiyoy na si Don Jose Dison para magkaroon na maginhawang buhay. <laughs> ano po ang natapos sa kolehiyo ni Emilio Hadid? Nakapagtapos siya sa Bachelor of Arts sa kolehiyo sa San Juan de Letran. Lumipat naman siya sa Universidad ng Santo Tomas para mag-aral ng abogasya. Hindi yan niya natapos ang abogasya dahil sa sumapi na siya sa katipunan sa edad na 19. Ano ang mga naging parte ni, ni, ng bayani na si Emilia Sinto sa ating bansa? Napakatalino ni Emilio kaya hindi naging hadlang ang kanyang edad para siya humawak ng mga importante pesto sa kataas-taasan, kagalang-galang, katipunan ng mga anak ng bayan. Naroon siya nang maganap ang makasaysayang sigaw sa pugad ng lawi na siya nagkudyat ng simula na revolusyon kontra Espanya. <coughs> ano, ano ang ikinamatay at paano napunta sa barangay sa liman ang kanyang labi? labanan ng mga Kastila sa Magdalena, Laguna, nagtamo siya na maluhang pinsala sa isang sa isang labanan ng Sapa, maintis, taong 1898. Nagtago siya sa simbahan ng Santa Maria, Magdalena. Kahit na nakaligtas siya sa natamong sugat, dinakuan naman ng sakit na malaria. Ito ay kinamatay niya noong uh, April 16th. 1898 sa edad na 23 dito sa barangay sa Luwang kung kaya pinigay ang kanyang labi sa kasalukoy na pinigaw si Jesus Christ Maraming salamat po What can you say about your local treasure? As a resident of barangay sa Luwang I say local treasure of barangay sa Luwang or the Emilia Sintas Rai is very good and most important treasure of the barangay sa Luwang Barangay San Juan, how will you protect the Emilio Asinto Shrine? Um, maybe uh, I will maintain the openness of the Emilio Asinto Shrine. What did you learn about the interview? Um, um, what I learned in the interview is how, how old the shrine and how the residents value our local treasure. How much you value your local treasure that you mentioned earlier? Um, um, I value our local treasure a lot because I have the best childhood memories on the strand and of course that are the local treasure and we're, we're proud of it.